Hello scholars, or today should I say scientists. We are going to start off with our two inch rocket. I didn't have straws at home, so I just took a piece of paper and rolled it up the same way we did the body of our rocket. And I am going to launch this one. Remember I am using a push force to launch my rockets. And then I'm going to measure afterwards. So I have a line um, here that I'm not going to cross and that's going to stay the same to keep consistency in my experiment. Ready? Okay. I hope the camera caught that. I'm gonna go ahead and measure that. I'll be right back. All right, so taking a look here at my start, I wanna make sure this is nice and straight. It's important to keep accurate data in an experiment. I come up here, our rocket went about 56 and one half inch. So I came over and I recorded that in my data chart. And now I'm going to try again for trial two. All right, scholars, I'm hoping to give you a better view this time of my rocket, my straw that I made myself. Let's see if it'll go further. I'm gonna step up to my line. Let's check it out. Went about 51 inches for trial two. Let's go write that down. All right, let's see what happens with trial three. All right, let's go ahead and try for trial three. Oh, this one went a little further. Let's check it out. As you can see, um, trial three went the furthest so far, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off and measure it. I am going to have to restart my um, measuring tape here and see how many more inches it's going to be to get to trial three. Yay! All right, trial three measured in at 64 and a half inches. Let's go record our data. All right, so I did the second part of my experiment with my redesign, the one where I used tin foil for the nose cone. And I want you to look here and compare that data. Compare the distance traveled in inches. I want us to think which one of my designs was more effective. There's a clear winner here, I would say, huh? I want you to think how you use air to move your rocket. Did the amount of air that you used affect the flight of your rocket? So think about the, the push force that you use from, from your own breath to make this rocket propel forward. Did the amount of air that you blew affect the distance of your rocket? Answer in the exit slip below.